All right, now we're recording. Boy, I tell you what, before I started doing this, before I started uh, um, making content for YouTube, I thought, that's got it, that's the easiest life. I mean, these guys go out, they video, just doing this and that. That is, could not be further from the truth. Um, so, I've come up with an equation um, when it comes to content creation, right? So let's say you've got one camera, like you start with your uh, iPhone or whatever, and that's all you're gonna do. However much time it took to do what you're recording, you double it because you now have a camera. Every camera you add on top of that, you multiply the original time. So let's say you were gonna uh, go on an hour long fishing trip. You add a camera to it, it's now two hours. You add a second camera to it, it's now three hours. You add a third camera to it, or a fourth camera to it, it's now four hours. Um, I will have uh, an old GoPro. This is my workhorse. It has been beat to death. Um, it's funny, all the videos I took with that was just for my people. I, did, I didn't, uh, you, you won't see them on the channel. They're on my private uh, YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel. But when uh, um, I started doing this, right, um, I was like, hey, I'm just gonna video it. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do, right? I had, I had no idea. So right off the bat, my, uh, I had a MacBook Pro. First video I tried to edit, right? I smell, it smells like something's burning down. And I reach over and I touch my laptop. It was hot enough to cook on. I mean, legitimately, it was hot to the, and I started getting these messages and I'm like, all right. And that was, I forget what I was using. So right off the bat, buy a new laptop. Work just rocket ship of a laptop. And I started using uh, Final Cut Pro, right? And my first video you see, it's like, I don't know what, 64 bit. It looked like watching an old Commodore 64 game or something. Um, I just aged myself for those that might be following along. But uh, when, when I started doing that, right? I bought a four terabyte hard drive on, the, on board uh, of that Mac. And uh, two videos in, I'm like, whoa, I'm gonna run out of space quick. So now I've got an external drive. Um, but uh, by the time you guys see a video, right? There is probably, again, uh, the Kauai trip, right? That was six and a half, seven hours. All videos, the batteries, the storage, all of it. Chop that thing down to 30 minutes. Um, mainly because my friends, we, we curse a lot, right? And I'm trying not to be like that on, on YouTube. So I'm trying to cut out all the curse words and I don't want to have the quack sound or the, you know, silencer sound or sensor sound or whatever. I'm trying, so I'm trying to be mindful of that. But um, four different cameras running, four different camera settings running, colors all jacked up, right? It's like, bro, what? So now I'm, I'm probably spent, honest to God, I've probably spent a hundred hours just learning how to use Final Cut Pro. Just to the point where you see the half-ass videos I'm posting. It's, I, I, I mean, and so then learning each and every one of these cameras, right? I tried to uh, stick on one brand, right? Uh, but GoPro just wasn't giving me what I needed. I needed to have more than, uh, than GoPro was giving me. Now help, I'm not knocking GoPro. I still got a GoPro, I got a Hero 8. That thing fell out of a three-story building, right? It's got a big chunk out of it. Still waterproof, uh, I guess, to a degree. Um, I had, it was in a case when it fell, so uh, that case is what I'm talking about, it's still waterproof. Um, but uh, overheats. I mean, just as soon as I start using overheats. So I went with the uh, DJI, one on my chest. Um, I love this camera, right? I, I can be real and inefficient, dip it right in the water and pull it back out, and wipe the lens off over it and go. It's got screw on any filters. It's, I love this camera. Um, but unless I'm gonna have somebody there fishing with me, this is the only thing you're gonna get, right? Um, cause there's no way to get camera. So I went with the 360 again. I love that 360, same idea, dip in the camera. But when I added that Insta 360, I gotta do all the editing and I gotta track which part of the deal, uh, you want to see. Cause it's, it's think about being inside a globe and you see everything, right? Well, when, uh, when I get it there, I gotta zero in and focus on the, on the exciting part of the video. So I gotta do all of these anchor points. Um, and I do that, right? But a 15 minute video, a 15 minute clip 
on the Insta360 is gonna take me. Now, I'm sure there's somebody out there that their workflow is 10 times better and they're doing amazing things and they've got all of their luxes and whatever they call them all saved. Boop, 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 boop. They're done. That's not me, right? I'm like, back, fast forward back, forward back, forward back, trying to find and going in all the stuff. So, when, uh, if you see what you know is an Insta360 uh, video, no. For every minute of video that you're sitting there, it took me an hour, right? So going back to how I got on this rant, if you are a uh, fan of YouTube and you're watching people on YouTube, or you have some judgmental viewpoint of uh, some young people that are out there creating content, thinking that it's uh, not hard work, Osprey just went over. That'll be on the Insta360. The You'll get to see that fly by carrying his dinner. Um, anyway, know that you're wrong. These people work hard. I mean, really hard. I, I go back to when I first started doing this, like, cause I want to retire, man. I'm getting old, man. I'm going to eventually break down. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Um, so this is, this is my plan for retirement, right? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try to pay the bills doing this. Am I naive? Probably, right? Who wants to look at me and listen to me? I don't know. Um, but, uh, I went into this thing thinking it was going to be easy. It is anything but. These kids, these content creators, these people that are doing here are working they ass off. I'm telling you right now. Um, or they are paying somebody to do all of their uh, videography and editing and that increases the cost. Um, I mean, I only have action cams. Um, I follow Darshizzle and Brian Puddin. I think they quit calling him Puddin, but I follow them. And uh, uh, they got a, I mean, they, they did their gear review and I went and looked and I was like, my goodness. Um, I don't got, have that kind of money to spend on a camera. However, you see what I'm riding in. This is a 2024 Maverick 18 HPXV. This is considered the cream of the crop of uh, fishing boats for in, inshore fishing. Um, and yeah, for the next 20 years of my life, I'm gonna paint this boat off. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> Every time I say it, it makes me a little scared. But, uh, all right, let's go for a ride and uh, see what we can do. Coming up.